Hello and welcome to Briefly Everything. Today we'll start 772 BC. We'll merely move 19 years down the timeline. We'll discuss the Troll Dynasty and mm, the origin of Rome. Let's get going. 772 BC now we'll start. Over in China now, currently ruled by the Zhou Dynasty, which was the longest one in Chinese history. But despite that, it was full of internal conflicts, much due to their decentralized government, which allowed local lords to amass power, thereby reducing that of the emperor. So in 772 BC, this period here starts, known in Chinese history as the Spring and Autumn period during which initially 148 states were all fighting to be the top dog in China, even though they eat those animals. This eventually whittled down to one who would rule them all in 500 years from now. However, much like the market economy, this spurred everyone to try their best, so hiring your cousin as advisor on the merit that he was, well, uh, your cousin which um, worked before, wasn't really good enough anymore. And while the soldiers were focusing on winning tomorrow's battle, the philosophers came up with some core ideas that would still dictate much of China today in Taoism, Confucianism, and even legalism, which is uh, sort of like the younger brother to these two other ones. More on these guys soon. 771 BC, so just moving one year down the timeline. So just a year into this video, we already have the Zhou capital being sacked. So all of these Zhou people, they fled to a new capital in Luoyang. And though the Zhou still had a good 500 years left in them at this point, they were just puppets to their much more powerful vessels. If you want to get down with the gritty details, this ended the Western Zhou period and began the Eastern Zhou period. 753 BC officially marks the start of the Roman Kingdom, which went on for quite some time, I'd argue. And I could even argue that it survived all the way to 1453 CE. So more than 2000 years, if you want to count like that. I don't need to say it, but it's pretty, pretty long. Oh, sorry, I just said it. So note that this only marks the day Rome became, well, a city, or boastfully called the start of the Roman Kingdom. In 200 years, they'll become the Roman Republic. And just before year one, they'll become the Roman Empire which is the one everyone's talking about today. So the Roman city's origin is that of two brothers, Romulus and Remus, who were raised by a wolf because, uh, <clears throat> well, because da, everyone is, no, in cool stories at least. They had an argument about who was going to rule the city. So Romulus, well, clearly like any other brother would do, uh, out of uh, spite or jealousy, he killed his brother and named Rome after himself, which is why it's called Rome and not, well, Reem today. I guess that's more of a mythical story, and in reality, it was probably that Rome was made up of uh, towns on seven hills that united to make one city. And the background behind the name? Well, I'm a question mark there. So Rome at this time, despite being a city and gaining some, well, marginal influence over the region, uh, there still wasn't really much about them at this time. I've said in earlier videos how their neighbours and dominant power in the region, the Etruscans, looked down on the Romans and deemed them to have no sense of art or culture for that matter. Which was probably very true, but nothing you would ever hear about them today, I don't think. Also, with Rome on the west coast and not being much at all at this time, I don't think I can state how irrelevant Rome was to the broader Mediterranean arena for the first 500 years of its existence, as everything was going down on, well, Rome's uh, east side, where they didn't have much influence at all. And on that note, guys, well, I bid you goodbye. That was the, uh, well, the Zhou dynasty, and a bit of uh, a bit of details there, and a bit of um, decentralized government. We all want some of that, it's quite nice, it makes for a good movie at least. Then we talked about the origin of Rome, and we covered merely 19 years in this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it, as I always thoroughly enjoyed talking to you. Goodbye for now.